Hey, it's me, Size 7, and this is part 49 of my Library of Runa walkthrough. I'm going to be taking on the ensemble member that's challenging the floor of natural sciences. Looks like it's Oswald along with Mr. Knife and another Miss Mermaid. We saw her in the floor of art. Okay, so now this effect will actually come into play where Oswald will take 40 stagger damage when Miss Mermaid's killed. I've already seen the cards match individual and a bunch of ranged attacks with kind of supporting effects to them. Mr. Knife. He's got the same stagger damage effect when he dies. That's cool. It's their weak to pierce. Okay, this looks like a pretty brutal card. Knife Barrage. It is ranged, so I have stuff to deal with this. I'm actually not too worried about it. But if it fails to deal damage, it inflicts too feeble on himself. Now for Oswald, Shimmering's the boss effect. Takes half as much stagger damage from attacks and deflex. He's kind of tanky. Also, all of his stagger resists are ineffective, and physical is endured. All right. Second scene. He stupefies a librarian with the highest HP. And he uses it every two scenes once they after they snap out of it. Alright. Okay, so he buffs the want the person that gets stupefied. And then when that librarian is staggered, he takes 60 stagger damage. And then when we free the stupefied person two times, he uses a mass attack. Okay. I imagine this is the mass attack. All of you, once I begin, he inflicts a whole bunch of random statuses to everyone, I'm guessing. The 2020 on hit deal eight stagger damage. Okay. Okay, so this is a stupefied card. Range card. Pretty decent rolls, actually. It has this Knight's Work thing, so if all dice on this page are losing and clash, the opponent restores two light. That's actually really cool. I like this. So if we beat his clashes, we get bonus effects. Or at least for these. Okay, that's really cool. Now we'll talk about my builds. So we've seen a Ye's page. I use this on the floor of art. It's just a solid page. Actually, like stuff like Vapor can deal with ranged cards really well. I'll be using those. Bring back Emma's page for all of the, just all of the power. Yeah, this page is just so strong. We gain power when using a three cost card. Blunt dice power plus one. And another blunt dice power plus one. Blunt dice damage. Yeah, just all the good stuff. Pretty strong card. Now we've seen Eileen's page. I use this on the floor of art as well. Then we're using a Night Owl's page for all the pierce dice power. So also make clashing with the ranged cards really easy. And then Esther's page, which, you know, creates the prescripts, really fun. Nothing new there. I'm running the Bremen's appearance projection. And start the fight. Sniff, sniff. This place has an unfamiliar scent in the air. Hmm. Ah, ah, down there is a river that looks like a very large stream containing blueberries and juice mountain snake berries. Hmm. 
An olfactory mixture of mint and clove would make a stingy scent like this. The stage has a blindingly sparkly rust. A stark contrast from ours is splendid. And ask for a better place to prepare for a grandiose performance, don't you think so, Mr. Knight? What a noisy guest. Oh, two yikeses and a half. My heart almost popped out of my eye hole. Sorry, I like letting Oswald, his voice actor, do his thing because it sounds so good. Are you an audience? Just a guest? Or maybe a fellow clown to help out with the show? I'm taking a second look and there's more of you. Are you guys a Matryoshka doll in secret? Hmm, let's see. One, two. Eh, too many to count. <laughs> Ah, now just one moment. Take a look at this. This mermaid is lifting her microphone high in excitement. It's not even a microphone. That's like the... What is this? It's like an anglerfish, right? I think that's what they're called. That's actually used to uh, attract prey. Getting nowhere with your frantic speech, so could you please stick to one topic at a time? You'd be the guest here for being pedantic. Clown <laughs> can't be in charge of producing his own show, you know. <laughs> That's showbiz to you, miss. I don't get what's so funny. <laughs> Now, now, why don't we sniff each other's wrists in a true fashion of clown to clown communication ritual or a whiff of peppery scent today? But wait, you startled me. It's rude to stick your face into others without asking. You understand? How cold. People these days are way too stuck up. We're entering a moist era where laughter runs dry. People get so easily upset over tiny things. <laughs> Woe is me, if a clown can't be filled with laughter, they'll flop like a deflated balloon. Anger's a natural human emotion, though. It's not natural. <laughs> Only those who carry some kind of hopes and dreams make such stinky candies. Expectations for a bar of chocolate, a hamster, objects, the weather, other people, and for themselves. They arbitrarily entertain the expectations and make the candies without even getting a nod from the one they have their hopes on. They won't even eat their candies themselves. And someone needs to get like a an Oswald translator. 
맛이 부리다는 걸 알고 있으니까요. Because they know that their own candies taste awful. So instead, they put them in the mouths of others. More expectations means more foul smelling candies. They hold those balls of stench in their arms, looking to shove them in someone else's stomach. Then, how is one supposed to live a life without any expectations? Did a blade of grass ask for you to have them? Did the gentle sun allow you to have them? Who in the world told you that it's right to hold expectations? Ha ha ha, that tingles my mouth almost as much as a celery leaf does. Oh, how hilarious. When you don't hold expectations, you get to see more eyesores. When you don't have anger, you get to enjoy zestier and bitterer flavors. Treat everything like a rolling ball, you cheer for it wherever the sphere decides to go. You truly wish for the good of other people, why don't you stop holding expectations and just laugh with them at their side? Everyone who lives here is a clown. Clowns can survive without feeding on each other's smiles, you see. I see your point. Right. Holding expectations for someone isn't always a good thing for them. I can't fully agree with your opinions. I admit that there are parts that I can't completely disregard. <laughs> I just want to make a world full of laughter, one where everybody can laugh without a care. Burning faces are just too scary. However, to hold expectations is to trust that person. You're simply running from the fear of failing to meet the expectations of others. Am I? Is it a crime to wish for happiness? Since when was it a bad thing to wish for a world where all people can laugh? Hmm, whatever. I guess we have different kinds of laughters we want to display in our shows as performers. No different from us folks in a in that you run a show hoping to make people smile the smile you want to see. Let's begin the performance to make another clown laugh. <laughs> That's enough introduction. Shall we begin playing on the tongue now? <laughs> Yeah, in your language, we have to fight to protect the stages we stand on. Now, now, I want endless laughter and clapping to be heard and bird. What? We have to do this, I suppose. You aren't terrified already, are you? 
looks similar to the two and those animals we received some time ago. It feels as if we're in a circus. We can't make plans forever. Okay, so we got some range cards coming. We'll get some draw. What's he playing? Okay, don't really want that to hit. Dude, the music's really different from the other floors. Really speed dive the target next scene. Hmm. I think I can let my blunt dice deal with that. And then I should be able to clash with this pretty well. Because the repressed, repressed flesh, the second dice reduces the power of the target's current defensive die by three. That should be pretty good. I want to kill Mr. Knife first because he has the lowest amount of HP. Alright, should be a good first scene. Paradise doing work. Alright, so we got whatever boon he gives us. Oswald has some pretty cool sound effects. I love it. Okay, we're getting mass stack, mass individual 6169. Okay. He's stupefying. Can I redirect those? And who do I want staggered or stupefied? I think it'd be Elaine actually. I think I'll do that. Then we need to Stagger Mr. Knife, maybe even kill him the same. Want some pure dice for that. So 9 to So I can let the counter dice on here deal with that. Oh yeah, I need to clash with this. Oh no. What is this? I can't tell what speed dice this is. Or like how high the roll is.
Oh, it's a four. <laughs> Why was it? It was like in the background. I couldn't see it. Okay, that's good. Okay, one person hit. And two people. That's a sound effect from Emma and Nose Reception. Not the sound effect, just the song. Okay, so this could be good after losing clashes. Okay, yeah, she's attacking me. Messed up. Not with the best cards, so. Okay, so I think I can let the counter dice deal with that. Wait, actually, I want to do this in the other order. I can do collision to clash with those to give me a bunch of light. I think is how that works. Okay, she's almost staggered. She's kind of bad. I should be able to win that. Like last time. Just put the rest of the damage on Mr. Knight. Yeah, I don't even need to clash with that. Yeah, so the on clash win thing popped up every time. Uh, one of those clashes was actually one, so... Why must you torment us innocent beings who only wish to bring laughter? Okay, so this will be really good. Blade sweated by teardrops. On Pierce Attacks, if it rolls max value, deals a bonus 10% of target's max HP. So Oswald didn't like us killing his friend. Look creepy, sort of. Wait, this is the only card. Oh, it actually shows me all the cards they have. Okay, that's cool. Don't need to clash with that. Actually, I like taking castigation here. Actually, 
Oh wait, next scene I might be able to just do a ton of damage with Emma's page. With the help of the strength gain. Endurance, I don't really have a lot of use for. This is pretty good. Although Oswald's is the last one left, so we can. Oh, never mind. I thought this dealt bonus damage, but it's not. Didn't really get very good ego page selection here. Probably won't even use that. Okay, so he should be mass stacking, right? No, because we didn't stagger her. Okay. Actually, I might be able to use the mass attack to destroy the. Okay, so we'll get Exhale Smoke, this effect to activate. So hopefully that mess deck actually works the way I think it does. Okay, it won, so it should destroy it. He's not playing it, so I don't think the effect will go out. So no one got stupefied, but he'll play it again. Okay. I don't have the other mass techs to do it. That's okay. We actually need someone to get stupefied so that we can actually just stagger him.
Oh yeah, I actually really want to use castigation for this. Just this part specifically. Who did I actually want to clash with here? Probably this. Okay. They're actually still doing a lot of damage because of all the smoke on them. Okay, so that's why I wanted to use this uh, appearance projection. We're gonna kill him without even doing the mechanic. The spotlight was mine. The actions speak louder than words. That's eight o'clock circus. What, she got his, his head. Oh my gosh, we just cut off his head. Dude, we're sick monsters. Hold up. Oh, I can't change it to where it... Fortunate. Okay, let's read his credenza. So Oswald's page. People have hopes and dreams. I want to eat three blossoms of flowers. I want to be a swifty, nifty, thrifty kitty. I want to earn a fortune. And then they add... Maybe I'll find delicious flowers someday. Maybe I'll get fat stacks of cash in my paws someday. Maybe I'll be showered in the loudest applause someday. Someday, someday, someday. That dastardly someday just won't stop popping up. But to have a hope, you've got to prepare incense to offer those wishes, wishful prayers upon. A world where one can't eat flowers, a reminder that you're a sluggish turtle right now. Beggarly reality, setting the stage for the performance we call hope. Thus and therefore, people have the wrong idea about how to have hopes. If they believe that the hopes will come true someday, they'll just keep parroting that con contemptible word. The day will never actually come. Having expectations this way will only leave you with bitter anger. I'll change someday? That person will turn over a new leaf someday if I count on them and wait. Niech. People entertain the hopes as they please, and then bite at each other when the change they expected doesn't happen. Clowns can't give out smiles in a world full of mean, teary friends. We should all do the stretches, starting today. Abandon all expectations, just keep a merry positive attitude and laugh no matter what you see. Let's make a performance about what's already come true, not of a supposed reality you hope for someday. Marty on the stage is standing under the brightest spotlight ever. That's interesting. It just, it always feels like everything about Oswald is in some kind of code that's a little hard to understand unless you actually plot everything out. Uh, and then we got his card. Let's see what card it was. Let's have some fun. On use, restore four light. That's actually really good. A two cost for four light. Probably use that. Now let's see what his effects were or his passives. I'm using a combat page with three or more different types of non counter dice, all dice on the page gain plus one power and deal plus one damage. Because that's pretty cool. 
So that would work on things like emotional turbulence. Because it has a block dice, pierce dice, and slash dice. That's three different ones. It's all for that though. What other good cards are like that? This one maybe, but this is for a discard deck. Could work here as well. Huh, I have a couple of ideas. Oh, there's one card, a uh, sort of volition. I think where is it? All right, here. This might be interesting too. So you get this from the distorted yawn fight, and it's not actually zero cost as it says here. It's it costs the user's max light. And on use, all dice in the page gain power equal to that emotion level. So maybe. So the effect would work with this. That could actually be kind of interesting, making a, de a deck around that. Just that one passive. Alright, for the next fight, we'll be on the floor of language. And I have a little interesting build that I want to try out. So I'll see you then. Peace.